Hey everyone, this is Chinmay back again in this video. So uh, today I'm going to tell you how I use uh, a linear app to track my like project progress or जब भी मैं कोई नया प्रोजेक्ट शुरू करता हूँ सो आई आई लिंक और आई लाइक आई पोस्ट दैट प्रोजेक्ट हेयर ऑन लीनियर और लीनियर आई मीन देर लीनियर इज अ वेरी नॉट वेरी बट या पॉपुलर प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट एप्लीकेशन विच हेल्प यू टू ट्रैक योर प्रोजेक्ट इश्यूज गिट अप रिक्वेस्ट लाइक कमेंट्स and bugs improvement everything basically so uh, like there are some other tools like asana or at least in gazira maybe so uh, i'm i'm not having much experience with with that because they are like highly like very much like uh, if if you are working with a big team you are in a company then that makes uh, sense to you otherwise but for like an individual developer if you are individual full stack developer or a back end developer or a front end developer then this linear tool tool called linear is like very much like uh, compact and would meet all of your requirements so mujhe personally linear jyada pasand hai because it is compact hai and easy to use hai uh, asana or notion or like any other project management tool i am not much into them so uh, let's talk about linear so today in the in this video i'm going to tell you uh, like a very basic approach how you can list a project on uh, list a workspace and a project on the linear and then how you can and then how you can like uh, create a uh, milestones and issues and then you can link your github account here and like you can create road maps you can create your customized views or like so many things and like with the calendar wise you can just track the progress of your of your project so it is like very helpful when you when you really want to make development like consistent and regular so let's start i have already created a workspace called lokinawa kanal which is a new project i'm working on so like from here you can create workspaces and like every workspace can have many projects like back end front end database design so so many things so workspace is a like big or main project and then another workspace you, you can have several projects uh which can be like you you, you can say sub domains so of the main big domain so i've created the okinawa connect space and in this space right now there, there there are no projects so i can create projects i can create views okay create custom views using filters to show only the issues or projects you want to see so like when you are if you are working in a team and you can make up customized views to uh, like what this will do this will make the process of checking your issues to do task backlog tasks active tasks very quicker and you you don't have to uh, uh, scroll uh, with like other task also so you, you so you can just create a customized view which will show your tasks only so views are really helpful here so let's create a project if i want to create a project so i'll say new project and i can call it like backend and then i can say uh, this is so this is not a backlog but backlog mean you 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 are just like having the idea at at the back of your head but you don't want to like proceed with it right now okay so like you might 
proceed it later or plan like it's it's already planned in progress or paused or complete so i will do like planned league is like you can assign many members right now i am the only one start date i can give the start date uh, this the february 29 so let me give the start date of like 1st of march and target date like i give 1st of march cut off 1st of april i 1st of may and here are the milestones so i like ra rather than creating to do's or tasks like uh, like daily daily to do's i would prefer to create milestones okay so it's like uh install the goal and project all the basic dependencies Once you do it, just like make sure that you have a connectivity with the database. So you can say set up a docker and connect with the database. Create a help check or both. So okay, okay. there is a limit. Uh, set up a uh, health check for the file and the database. Okay. Once you do this, so because my application like is all about events tracking, so you can say uh, 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 first we can do authentication. So start authentication with cookies. Once you set up the authentication, you can say like test. The authentication with mock data, of, of course, or like before uh, writing test, you can say uh, set up test environment. Okay. So, setting the testing environment, and maybe if, if I can draw, drag and drop this, so set up a docker. Yeah, this goes. Should so set up so start the authentication with the cookies and uh, then you can say uh, set up rest api for curl for the events okay so like uh, a user can create event events okay uh, then a user can create comments for the events and a user can uh, a user can invite other users to participate in event to participate to participate in event okay so when a user can participate so uh, all the participants like in, in this one milestone there there would be more like subtask like a, a user can invite other user to participate in the event and then so it, it, it will be process of sending a request accepting a request and then like joining the event so once this is okay then all the participants can have a group chat for the event the user can share the event on the line app which is like very popular app in japan like whatsapp in india or the us so a user can share the event on line app okay so these are like all this is all like the backend specific tasks okay so once you do that so now you can say uh, user can search the event 
with filters okay with filters so like in filters we have like we can attach like so many filters so this is a milestone not a single task here every single milestones are having sub task in it okay so i really would prefer to having milestones rather than uh, like to do's for my project so that's how i plan it okay so so a user can search the events filter with the filter user can chat like or like as of now these are the only features i i thought as of now yeah and then user can put or log a person okay after all this the user can see self and others profile yeah, of course once they have creating created a profile the user can create a profile okay. so this should be i think stalker for the events stalker yeah. this should be go here after the event because before in inviting or when you when you want to invite you have to see the profile or like you might want to see the profile okay so that's how you can add like milestones then create a project so this is a project literally it is starting from march 1 ending to like may 1 and these are the milestones so like now if you do here then you can create a new issue like start building a project by creating an issue or a document so here you can create a document document like okay like now here you can add like tasks for each uh, milestone basically okay if you want to otherwise again go back to the back end project here like edit the project status is planned or in progress and you can like project lead members target is of seven all so if you if you say in progress so now project is in progress okay here you can see your all the projects this is the view create a new issue issue is like uh now here like you can make sub task or like issues like uh what to say like, set up a more data for the login and sign up okay here you can attach the milestone with this okay if you want so it's like it's to do priority you can say medium assigned to me it is a feature which my milestone you want to attach install the going go land project dependencies after the first step set up docker connect okay authentication with the cookies okay now create an issue so this is the issue which is a to do part okay so for every milestone you can create a to do and then you can check this like this this is a to do this is Having priority medium is a feature. Is it and it, it, is it in the backend project? So here you can like completely separate it. And and as soon as you will, you are completing this. So what you can say, you can select uh, another milestone from here, and you can just like check the milestone as well. Okay, and and it, it is a part of a milestone, which is a part of a project which is in progress right now. And for the project, there are members like Jim. Okay, so that's how you can. Use it. So as soon as you will do uh, to do is like done, and and you can like for the same milestone you can have like more to dos, like set a mock data for login sign up, and then you can create like one more issue basically. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Test. Oh, test. Browser as well. So you can do this with this also. Again, okay. this is like backlog priority low assign HMI is a constant feature. Milestone is like start the authentication cookies. one more which is in the back back so that's how you can create uh, issues projects milestones and the workspace and then you can work with it so yeah it's really good tool i think and you should use it i use it all the time for all of my work and i really like it okay like uh, in the next part of the linear uh, i might tell you how to make views or how you can create your custom views where you can like see like uh, just your own projects like this is a basically already a view where you can like just rename it and save it so this particular view this particular view will showing like only your projects and something like that also okay, so it's a save view so like description of the, like my issues and then create now you have you are having your views so if you my issues okay so that's how you can get reviews so there is no need of the another part of the video from here you can click you can uh, link your github basically that's a very like easy process you can do it by yourself there is no view you can also collect connect your slack or like whatever you, you want to connect like almost any application here but i i, I just usually uh, create uh, or the link with the github only uh, or not with the uh, slack or something because i am like working individually on this project so there is no need to do that so yeah that's how you can use linear so if you are having any doubt about linear or if you are having any doubt about today's video then just feel free to ask me in the comments and i will see you in the next video thank you